G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up an Asus Swift 1 SF11131. So this one, I'm opening it up just to see if this does have a NVMe drive in here. As you can see, here is another model number for it. And let's begin. So to begin with, we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. And if we're lucky, all these screws are going to be the same size. If we're unlucky, some may be different. If we're really unlucky, the screws don't want to leave. As I'm finding here. So the reason why I'm seeing this one is just basically the, the owner saying it's running a bit slow, which doesn't really surprise me. It's a five-year-old Pentium, or close to five-year. Okay, and these screws look to be the same length. And I'm surprised it actually has 128 gig of eMMC memory, which is not a lot, and it's not exactly fast stuff. It's just sped test it before, and it was topping out about 150 meg. So it basically runs at a standard SATA hard drive speed. So if all them removed, I'm gonna bend the plastic down a little bit. Hopefully get a nail in there. No. Let's get a little plastic pry tool. So you'd be able to use something like a bank card here to go like that. And just drag it around. Go and we're in. And as we can see, we have one massive battery in here. Eh, which way will we go? So sadly, we can't actually upgrade this one. We've got a 54 watt hour battery, which is a massive in capacity. Too bad we don't look to have any form of NVMe slot or any actual expansion. We do have a wireless card at the top here, which if I zoom you guys in, We'll be able to see that. So looking at it, we have one wireless card here, which is upgradable. We have one re replaceable power cable here. So if this does get damaged, you don't have to unsolder it out of the board, which is nice. And looking down here, we have a heat spreader for the Pentium, just to spread it all around. And we really don't have much else in this machine. We have the connection for the battery, which is absolutely huge. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Can't say I'm used to seeing them so square. So we're 20 centimeters, roughly eight inches by 165 mil or 16.5 centimeters, six and a half inches. So what a one massive battery. So sadly opening up, there's really not much we can do in this machine. We would be able to replace the thermal paste, which in this particular wattage of or processor, as we see here, that's making contact under here to help spread out the heat. There's really not much that can be done. You'd be able to replace the battery if, it, if you require a better battery life. And you can replace the charger port or the wireless card if you want slightly better wireless coverage. But sadly, RAM wise or, pro or hard drive wise, there's really not a lot that could be done. So I'm gonna put this back together and that's the inside of the Acer Swift One. Catch us later, bye.